Hey everyone, I just wanted to pull together a short video talking about some of the claims we hear about Polaris. This is one of them, the image of a star trail I shot. It's about an eight hour time lapse of the night sky combining all the stars path circling around Polaris. And one of the things you hear about Polaris is that it doesn't move. And that's true and it's not true. One, it doesn't move in that it's always in the same spot in the sky year round, but in fact, it is off center of the dome or whatever it is that the stars um, spin and move around in the sky. So these luminaries move about on top of us. Polaris is not directly dead center. It does form a slight arc and a slight circle um, every night. So this is a sped up version of a night time lapse that I've done. Again, this is about an eight hour um, time lapse done in February of uh, 2022. So in here, I'm going to zoom in and kind of point out the starting place of Polaris in this time lapse and then the ending place. And you can see that, in fact, you know, it does move. Um, so just be wary. Um, and, I first, and the first Star Trails um, image I put together, I noticed this. And it was, you know, I was like, oh, I thought Polaris doesn't move. And then you watch a video on how these people put these together and they'll Photoshop out that little arc. From Polaris, and a lot of times these are—they're only doing like two-hour time lapses, and it's a lot less noticeable than in this one. It's eight hours, and you can see almost a full semicircle arc. One of the other things with any star video, you see people zooming up on these stars with a Nikon P1000 or anything else, is make sure that these things are in focus. Um, you know, this particular shot's overexposed. Um, wasn't particularly bright nice so I had just the exposure in Premiere but you know a lot of times you'll see like these blurry swirling orbs people show the stars or even stuff like this and I've been guilty of it as well showing stars looking like this on videos and saying oh look stars aren't what we told and stars aren't what we told but this isn't it either um, that's just a blurry out of focus image um, somebody either not knowing how to manual focus the camera or understanding what it's supposed to be so and this is all done post-processing, but it needs to be brought down to a, you know, a tiny little orb as tight as and small as it could be. So as we zoom back on Polaris and try to take a look at what it actually should look like, one nice thing about Polaris is once you actually get it in your viewfinder, it doesn't move enough to where you really have to readjust your camera once you kind of get it locked in. And so here is, you know, I've enlarged it in Premiere and I'll adjust some of the settings, exposure and uh, saturation a little bit to bring out some more of the colors. But this is kind of what I think um, these stars look like once you kind of have the focus done on the camera, um, these pulsating orbs um, that constantly change shape and colors. Um, I feel like Polaris is a little more consistent than some of the other stars, I get serious. Slow down in some of the background. Um, the machine is kind of brought out well so you know in my video on Sirius I you know speculate that do these stars kind of leave a wake as they move through what firmament is um, now Polaris is moving very slowly um, and not covering a whole great distance so I feel like that affects a little less than what we saw in Sirius there's less trailing because um, the stars just not moving as fast or as much and um, but again like you kind of can see like just the noise in the background that these stars leave you know you know, I think I'll do a video comparing that to a planet and what we call planets, wandering stars, and see if it's any different. But again, this is just, again, different filter um, effect and Premiere, kind of making it black and white and inverting it to kind of help you kind of see, like, you know, the bright orb, the, the light that we see, and then just the um, surrounding noise um, that accompanies the star. And, um, Again, it's constantly changing, and I don't know what this is. I just kind of speculate what it is. But um, it's just interesting as you play around with these different video settings and these programs, kind of what you're able to reveal and what these cameras are able to reveal. So with all that being said, I hope that this video maybe helped you um, maybe understand a little bit better what Polaris does in the night sky as it um, rotates above us and clear up some misconceptions that I think inadvertently get thrown out there in the flat earth community. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Thank you.